well, first of all, thank you, Sir Ed, for that, that you are very, very much will, uh, willing to have a uh, long-term partnership with WWF. And of course, we uh, here in, we, we in WWF are very much uh, happy to accept that. Yeah, so I think the you know the uh, WWF, as I mentioned a little while ago, uh, the conservation and the sustainability portion of it is something that is in the DNA of Epson. So there is a big uh, stake for Epson to actually uh, be in partnership with WWF for the longer term. No? So WWF, in fact, is one of the uh, is one of the uh, trusted partners of Epson, and we do uh, have partnerships with other uh, conservation. Uh, of, of foundations as well. So yes, I think we we are we are in this for the longer haul. All right, Miss Jonah, anything to add? Well, first of all, thank you, Sir Ed, for that. That you are very very much will, uh, willing to have a, a long term partnership with WWF, and of course, we uh, here in we we in WWF are very much. Uh, happy to accept that and willing to uh, assist and help you in promoting your sustainability efforts and practices. Thank you. All right. Sir Jess, maybe we can hear from you. Any thoughts on this? Definitely, it's a long-term partnership. And I, I, I think I will repeat myself again. No? Sustainability for us really is a way of life. No? It's not just a marketing communication, but this is embodying it in everything that Epson will be doing. Unfortunately, we don't have the, uh, the particular uh, numbers for that, no? but uh, definitely the, the amount that was uh, placed into um, converting us into 100% sustainability and renewable energy cost quite a substantial sum. Uh, as Jester said a little while ago, uh, the Batangas plant is actually uh, one of the, if not the largest Epson facility, manufacturing facility in the Epson world. Now, so uh, obviously uh, with, uh, with the kind of investment that was placed in terms of, uh, uh, in terms of the solar uh, power, obviously uh, there is quite a bit of investment that was placed there. And yes, there, uh, there is still a room for expansion at the Batangas plant. So uh, this being the premier manufacturing plant, you can, you can imagine that uh, all of this will, uh, will continue on. And this will become like, the, uh, like almost like a trademark, a benchmark uh, for manufacturing because it is the premier and the largest plant in, our, in the Epson world at least. No? So uh, that's, that's, that's what I can say about that one. Anything to add, Sir Jester? Yeah, I think, um, uh, unfortunately, we don't have the numbers to share to their media friends right now. But um, I, I think for the longest of time, Epson has always seen um, the Philippines, you know, as a strategic location. And that's why in terms of investment, uh, a lot has been given the past few years or even decades, I think, Sir Ed, no? Even decades, so the, the investment that has been uh, put into the manufacturing plant for it to be the biggest no, uh, manufacturing in the Epson world. So I, I guess that will, uh, safe to say, will continue on. <laughs>